Hello everyone, it's now time for episode 10 of my Matthew V21688 talks. This time I'll be discussing the uh, 450 main from San Diego. And once again, the points have taken a turn for the for the worse for Ryan Dungey. Dungey fell in the first turn and took Villapoto with him. Opened the door wide open for Josh Hill on the Sam Manuel Yamaha. Dungey would get back up for a sixth place while Villapoto would finish in fourth and Hill would finish in second. Behind, he would finish in second to Davey Millsaps on the Honda. On the Red Bull Honda team. It was a good job for Davey. That's his first win since Detroit of 2008. Back when Reed had that shoulder injury. Was able to salvage a 12th out of that night. But tonight, the race at San Diego. Surprises. Dislikes. Or misfortunes, I should say. If you're either if you're Ryan Dungey or Andrew Short for that matter. But basically, big surprise, like I mentioned in my ninth episode, Mother Nature held off. And uh Quite honestly, when Dungey went down in the first corner, I thought, is this gonna open the door for Hill? He took advantage of it. With a second place finish. And uh... Dungey, I don't know if he's cracking under this pressure. Because Dungey did this exact same... If Dungey loses the points lead at 8-3, this is going to look exactly like how it was his first rookie season in the lights class. He had the most unbelievably worst luck I'd ever seen. That's completely out of his hands. He won the first round, 18th in round 2. Didn't qualify at Daytona. At a 21st at Orlando. Before coming back to win Indy. But anyway. I don't know if Dungey is cracking under the pressure. I like to think he's... I like to think he's not. I thought he was past all that after he won the... Lights West Championship last year. And... The motocross, the outdoor nationals later that summer, and later on the uh, the donations with the uh, Team USA, and now he wins uh, the next the uh, after a second at A one wins the next two races, and a fourth and a sixth now, but thankfully Dungey has been able to minimize the damage. He was able to come out with a four point lead. But uh, I gotta wonder, is Hill gonna be looking at his first points lead of his life? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait until A3 to find out. But I think the biggest surprise would have to be Valley Motorsports' Ivan Tedesco. With a third place finish. Tedesco basically on a, on a privateer, ha privateer Yamaha team. And uh, he comes through with a third place, his first podium since St. Louis of 2006 when he finished second to Reed. And uh, I thought that was good for Ivan because he obviously has been struggling so much ever since that crash he had with Stewart at Toronto in 06. And those seven seasons didn't really go well. 08 wasn't much better. 09 it went, I should say, okay. Now 2010, I think Tedesco's finally found his groove. But quite honestly, I think anybody who's as happy as Tedesco has got to be Davy Millsass. As mentioned, this was his first win since Detroit of 2008 and of course Millsaps after two ninths and eighth a sixth I believe and a third at the last race at San Fran now Davey finds himself atop the podium 
It's good for Davey. I think that he's going to find himself some uh, momentum heading into A3. I don't know if we'll see back-to-back -back wins from Davey, but we sure as hell won't be seeing any back-to-back -back wins from Andrew Short. As we all saw, Shorty had that bad crash with just two laps to go. He went from 2nd to 20th. And uh, now the latest word is that Andrew Short has an injury around his leg or ankle. And he'll be out for him up to six weeks. But I saw the look, the look of pain on his face. I felt, I, I felt for the guy because Short obviously has been putting in so much. He just cannot find that win that he's been so desperately looking for. Now, as we all know... Andrew Shore has not won a Supercross race since since he was a lights rider at the Sh Lights East-West Shootout in Vegas in 2006. So it has been a while since Shorty's seen the winner's circle. But I like to think that when Short's back on the bike, we'll probably see him there. Of course, Short... Has not won a 450 Outdoor National yet. He has won some Lights Outdoor Nationals. His last win was, I believe it was Washougal in uh, 06. Anyway, I think it's kind of disappointing to see that from somebody like Short. But I hope he's okay. Hopefully that that leg and ankle injury leg or ankle injury is not as severe as it's as it might sound I haven't heard much yet I have been checking racer X but anyway I sure hope that Andrews okay we'll see him we'll see that number 29 Honda back on the bike but it does open up a slot for uh, for a privateer Maybe they might consider picking up Tedesco again, but that's probably wishful thinking. But anyway, I thought that the race was extremely exciting. Another good performance from Hill, probably his best season since 08. And uh, I have a feeling we'll be seeing Josh Hill on the podium not on the pony, but on the top spot for the first time since Minneapolis of 08. I think he could do it in Anaheim. I don't know. And of course, with James Stewart out, this definitely presents huge opportunity for everybody, and they're taking advantage of it. Hill's on the podium. Dungy's on the top spot twice. Villapoto got the win last in the last round of San Fran. Of course, Ivan Tedesco's been on the podium. Mel Saps has a win now. This is good with missing, uh, despite the fact we're missing James Stewart, we're missing Chad Reed, we're missing Josh Grant, who was in the booth in the last race, which I thought was really sweet. But, let's just hope that we'll see some new guys on the podium. Some new guys like Justin Brayton, Michael Byrne, uh, maybe Josh Grant when he comes back, Chad Reed when he comes back, Stewart's already been on the podium, and uh, I sure hope that uh, we can see some new guys on the podium. Maybe, we've, maybe we could even see Tommy Hahn or, or Grant Langston or what, or what have you. I don't know. Only time will tell. Well, that will do it for episode 10 of my Matthew V21688 Talks. I'll see you guys for episode 11, but that won't come until sometime next week. Bye, everybody.